sure. I mean, nations have been trying to gaslight each other uh, since time immemorial. Um, of course, the term didn't exist then, but they have been trying to manipulate psychologically other nations uh, ever since there was international relations. In this particular case, um, what is Mahathir trying to do? Or what are the Malaysian leadership trying to do? They deploy different sub-narratives, if you like. One is that, you know, I'm bigger, you are the uh, Ade, the younger brother, and I'm the Abang, the older sibling. So you should, of course, defer to me. The second one is, you know, you are a rich, ungrateful younger sibling because everything you have, you owe to me. Mahathir recently said, you know, Singapore is rich because of the water from Malaysia. It's magic water, you know, you drink it and immediately you become rich. If that's so, why don't they drink their own water, you know, instead of buying from us? The third narrative would be that you are too uh, legalistic, you know, let's, let's be uh, good neighbours. What is not said is that the good neighbourliness only works one way. We are supposed to accommodate their interests, uh, even if it is against our interests, with no expectation of reciprocity. That means we must take into account their interests, uh, but they, didn't, they don't have to take into account our interests. Uh, a subset of that is the call for sensitivity. We must be sensitive to their concerns, but there is a very seldom any uh, expectation that they should be uh, sensitive to our concerns. Don't forget, Singapore is unique in that it is the only sovereign country outside the greater China that has a majority Chinese population, but does not organize itself on the basis of a Chinese hierarchy. It organizes itself on the basis of multiracial meritocracy. Now that is, in a sense, an intolerable situation to Malaysia, which would prefer us to accept the kind of relationship with them that the Malaysian Chinese seem to have accepted vis-a-vis -vis the Malay political leadership. There is a subordinate relationship. Malaysian politicians, led by Dr. Mahathir, feel no obligation to be consistent. Don't forget, uh, a lot of th times when they say things, uh, it is meant as much as for their own people as for us. So, yeah, sure, nations can gaslight each other, at least they can try. In this particular case, I don't think it's working because Singaporeans are not stupid. It's quite patently obvious what they're up to. Now that you know this is happening, don't let it influence you. You can only be gaslighted if you are unaware that this is going on. If you are aware that somebody is trying to manipulate you psychologically, you must be particularly obtruse to allow yourself to be manipulated once you are aware. Be confident. We are strong, therefore we can be restrained. We are strong not just militarily, we, our economy is strong, and most of all, remain united. Because as long as we are cohesive, as we hold together, all this cannot work.